Hello guys and welcome to Freeverse Q and welcome to 75 day hard generative AI learning channel this is day 50 and in this video I will tell you how you can fine tune the Google's Gamma large language models on Indic languages I choose Punjabi for that so that I can train my large language model on Punjabi language to understand it and to generate questions and meaningful sentences out of it okay so let's get started and here is my Kegel notebook because I use the Kegel's Gamma large language models because uh, Google and Kegel already collaborated with it so they are like easy to use and uh, these are if you want to know about the Google Gemini architecture and the parameter you can watch this video these are the key features of Gemini and in our past videos as well I already explained how you can fine tune the Google Gamma large language models and how, how you can build the chatbots out of it so in this video let's fine tune it on Punjabi language okay so with the very first thing i install all the necessary libraries here and along with the data set library that is also required because i want to use this punjabi data set okay now uh, i just log in on my hugging face hub to get the permission to download the google gamma models and then i import all the necessary libraries here the transformers to get the models and then test train split and then training arguments and then the load and SFT trainer for to train my model okay, okay. so this is the very first thing I just down, download this Google Gamma 2 billion parameter model in the quantized format okay and then I uh, add some kind of a learning adapters to this quantized format large language model so, so that it can be fine tuned easily and this is the LoRa fine tuning okay because here I use this kind of a, a configuration that configuration is used for the LoRa fine tuning okay and then I just made my PEFT large language model with the uh, additional adapters and in the quantization format so that it can be trained easily okay because a quantized model can be trained very easily because of its small size okay then I put my uh, end of statement token there okay because that token is very 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 necessary to use okay okay and then then here is the thing that uh, I have this kind of data okay you know this that input instructions and output so to train a lie language model or a fine tune or line language model on this you need to understand it that you have to put all of these three columns into a single dictionary or into a single prompt okay so, so that it can be easily understandable by the large language model and it, it can train on it as well okay so for that I build these two functions the formatting function and also the preprocess function the preprocess function will do one thing it will apply this formatting function on my data set so the formatting function will do one thing it will take these three columns uh, instructions input and output all these things into your uh, one prompt and the prompt is this alpaca prompt because this is a alpaca data set because it is uh, built by the alpaca only so in that format you have instructions input and re uh, response as well by using the string formatting it can like uh, uh, add all your these three things into this prompt and at the end when you apply this formatting function on your data set it will uh, give you like this you see we have instructions we have input and we have the response so input is there nothing because there are like so many columns as well where there is no input as well okay so in the same way it just make every kind of prompt for you okay now we have the prompt data set and now it's time to tokenize it so for that I use the tokenizer which I just uh, uh, loaded above and with the help of that I tokenize my text and with the help of tokenized text I just try trying to find out the hundred uh, prompt tokens there are 247 tokens are there okay now for the training arguments I put the out output path along with the training approaches and everything like that and for the SF3 trainer I give him the PEFT model tokenizer data set of my Punjabi which field I want to use sequence length packing is true because the packing is true means I already did my formatting if I don't do my formatting then I have to make this as false and pass my formatting function here only okay but I 
already formatted my complete data set so that's why i put packing is equal to true and then you can just train it and once you train it you can easily save it like i did uh, the model saving in my last large language model fine tuning video and you can instance from it as well so as you see how you can use any kind of a uh, language data set as well to train your large language model on that and then they can use it okay we have so many languages as that if you just see there in this hydra indic repository you can find many many kind of languages as you can see we have bengali hindi or odia hindi test hindi punjabi tamil telugu so many languages are there you can use these languages train your large language model and then fine tune it and then inference from it to use it on your applications and many more kind of things as well okay and uh, in our next video i will tell you how you can talk with graphs or with the invoices or with images to understand them better okay it can be a beautiful business use case because in the next video i tell you how you can build a ai product by using the google gamma models as well that can be used in the industries okay you can build a model that can talk with the images the talk with the graphs the talk with the invoices and talk with the many more image like data okay if you want to know more about prompt engineering data science and machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and if you want to you can also read my blogs and uh, we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much